Check this out. Pope Francis tells Christians not to try to convert non-believers. The article says that Pope Francis told Christian high school students this weekend they should respect people of other faiths and not attempt to convert them to Christianity, insisting we are not living in the times of the Crusades. Asked by one of the students Friday how a Christian should treat people of other faiths or no faith, the Pope said, We are all the same, all children of God, and that true disciples of Jesus do not proselytize. The Pope then said, the last thing I should do is to try to convince an unbeliever. Never, he said. Can you believe this? And this is the leader of the so-called Christian world. If you continue reading in this article, you will find the Pope was outed as a liar by many historians when he added his own fiction to an already fictional sonnet made up by some poet about forced baptisms of Muslims during the Crusades that never actually happened. He literally lied to those high school students to make his point appear stronger in the eyes of the impressionable students who will look upon the Pope as one worthy of worship. As we know, from day one of this Jesuit Pope's pontificate, and like all Popes before him, he has done all he can to belittle Jesus Christ. But Pope Francis has been especially hateful towards our eternal King and Savior, as I have shared in recent videos. But then it is the last days, and so the statements he has made over the last few years about his dying God, Satan, being stronger than Jesus, twice he said Jesus failed at the cross, he even commanded his flock to deny Jesus Christ in 2014 as well, and at the start of 2019 he declared the Bible to be unreliable, and just last month he said that Jesus never really resurrected. And not long after saying that, He gave his personal approval to set up a pagan sun god that was used to burn babies alive in front of the Colosseum. And just this afternoon, as I was working on this video, a brother in the faith sent me this article wherein the Pope claimed rigid conservative Christians are creating a minefield of hatred. In other words, Obedient Christians who won't bow to the pressures of the sinful world need to stop being so firm in the faith because they're cultivating hatred. You know, that reminds me of two of his American puppets named Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama that said the people need to change their religious values in order to make society better. With all that long prophesied and biblically defined hate speech of the Pope, what he just said to those students was without a doubt the most anti-Christian statement made by any pope in history. And he did so knowing how impressionable the youth can be. Now, this is not the first time a pope has made a statement like this, but it is the most graphic, wherein his hatred of Christ has become obvious now. What I mean is, when this pope said to stop preaching to the Jews back in 2015, most people ignored it because... Most are already taught by their false pastors that the Jews are guaranteed heaven. But for the Pope to declare Christians should stop preaching Jesus as Savior to every soul on earth is exactly how Satan would have him preach. And now that he has worldwide power, he's going to make statements like this. Not only will his words make some of those people that actually worship this man agree to stop preaching their faith, It will make billions believe that anyone that ignores his command to stop preaching are actually being unlawfully cruel, and so even more people are going to start hating Christians, obedient Christians. And this hatred will be cultivated all over this world by this Jesuit pope. What this pope just said to those students is the exact opposite of what Jesus Christ said for all Christians to do. For Jesus himself said, as his last instruction to the apostles, the following words in Matthew 28, verses 18 to 20. It says that Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. We are in the last days. As prophesied in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, the man of sin has been revealed, brothers and sisters. In short, the Pope is lying. As prophecy has proven in an exhaustive manner, every prophecy that has ever been uttered in Scripture regarding Antichrist have been fulfilled by the Popes of Rome. They're all listed now. 
eschatologically speaking as well. In other words, the prophecies have already been matched with historic events that the popes have done. All the popes, and especially this one pope that has embraced the bloodthirsty priesthood of the Jesuit, will be especially evil and angry towards Christ and his followers, for he knows that as he makes statements like this, he will cause many people all around the world to follow his lead, and even more entrapped souls will begin to hate those that obey the command of Christ and not the command of Antichrist by continuing to preach Jesus Christ as Lord. No man, not even this Pope, can stop the remnant people who are prophesied to go forth in the loud cry to declare the hour of his judgment is come. All have fallen into apostasy and the people of God must come out of those churches. And soon the man of sin in Rome will demand all nations must pass laws that break the law of the Creator God so as to receive the mark of the beast and this will cause all those that are weak enough to do this to bow to the Pope in worship instead of Jesus Christ, who is soon to return to forever put an end to Satan's reign. For Jesus Christ did come to save the lost. And as promised, Christ has died, Christ has risen, and Christ will come again. Thank you for watching. God bless.